So anyone who's bothered to shop for a new TV recently will know only too well that there's an absolute mess of jargon and abbreviations to battle your way through. I mean, frankly, it's enough to drive you to drink, or at least it would be if the previous several months hadn't already done a pretty bloody good job of accomplishing that mission. And just when you think you've figured out your OLEDs and your QLEDs, along comes LG to bugger us about some more, as the South Korean manufacturer is getting ready to release its first batch of QNED TVs. All right, so the burning questions are, what actually is QNED? What's so bloody great about it? And how does it stack up against existing OLED and QLED teleboxes? Well, here's the hard facts. Get your booze of choice ready because shit is about to get real. Let's start with a super brief reminder about OLED and QLED TVs. So OLED, you may remember, stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. And the big whoop here is the ability to switch individual pixels on or off when required, as each pixel has its own source of light. Compared with those traditional old LCD TVs, which rely on a separate bit of backlighting. The result is that OLED TVs boast super sharp contrast, sometimes termed infinity contrast, with proper deep blacks and zero light bleed, that pesky light bleed that often causes a sort of halo effect that looks a bit crap. And viewing angles are also much improved versus those older LCD tellies. So the upshot is that OLEDs serve a proper gorgeous visuals. And while they used to be crazy expensive, like I'm talking not just selling your own internal organs, but most of your extended families, these days you'll often find OLED TVs at a much more respectable price. So just a couple of your cousin's kidneys should do the job. Now, a few years back, Samsung decided to shake things up a bit with its very own teletech, which it called QLED, which stands for Quantum Dot Light Emitting Diode. So technically, it should be called QDLED, but whatever, not to nitpick or anything. And despite sounding very similar to OLED, QLED is actually more akin to those traditional LCD TVs, because instead of each individual pixel having its own source of backlighting, QLED pixels share a source of light. This means that contrast isn't as strong on a QLED TV compared with the best OLED screens out there, but QLED displays really aren't far behind these days. In fact, some of the new QLEDs that Samsung showed off at CES 2021, like the absolute unit that is the 85-inch Neo QN900, sport what is known as Mini LEDs. These are 1 40th the size of previous incarnations, so you can expect a lot less light bleeds and therefore much sharper contrast. And Samsung's QLED tech boasts seriously vibrant visuals as well. We're talking really poppy, punchy, in-your-face colours. Not to mention stronger brightness levels compared with OLED screens as well. And I've got to say, on the new QLED TVs that Samsung is busy showing off right now, those viewing angles are looking nice and wide too. So the gap in visuals is definitely narrowing, and of course QLED does have some advantages. But of course, take a whole bunch of OLED TVs and QLED TVs side by side, and you will notice a significant difference in the picture quality. That's because it's not just the type of background lighting that affects the visuals, it's also the resolution and the processing power as well. Each TV has its own little chipset stuck away in there just like a computer powering the visuals. But let's not piss about any more and complicate things, let's actually get down to the subject of this video which is QNED. Now QNED stands for Quantum Nano Emitting Diode and this uses mini LED backlighting tech just like those fresh Samsung QLED tellies. So QNED backlighting boasts a large concentration of teeny LEDs which offers stronger contrast and more powerful brightness compared with those older traditional LCD panels. So for instance, LG reckons on its fresh new 8K flagship QNED telly, that backlighting consists of 30,000 mini LEDs, ridiculously teeny little lights packed tightly together. And this should, according to LG at least, offer a contrast ratio of a million to one. So we are talking really, really sharp contrast to rival the likes of that OLED tech. Meanwhile, these QNED TVs should also beat OLED when it comes to brightness levels and also when it comes to producing more natural looking colours. Although, of course, OLED will probably still have QNED beaten when it comes to the viewing angles. But of course, the big question right now is because both QNED and QLED use that mini LED backlighting tech, will there be a difference in the visuals between them? Will QNED beat QLED or vice versa? Well, certainly, according to the specs, the hardware and all the other information we've been provided with, it should be a very tight race indeed between that QNED and the QLED tech. Unfortunately, it's something that we can't really determine for sure until we see these TVs side by side in real life, which unfortunately here in Blighty, thanks to our great mate Corvids, isn't really possible. And then in 2021, you can also expect some micro LED TVs to emerge from the likes of Samsung, which offer even greater concentrations of even dinkier LEDs compared with these mini LED panels that you'll find in the QNED and the QLED TVs. But these micro LED TVs are going to cost an absolute packet. We're talking tens, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds, which is a bit steep if 
Ollie already watches Holmes Under the Hammer. So that's just a quick recap of where we're at with OLED, QLED and now QNED as well as if things weren't complicated enough. But hopefully that's helped clear things up a bit. Definitely let me know your thoughts on uh, all this fresh TV tech down below. Are there any particular TVs you're super excited about that emerged at CES 2021? Definitely some nice looking panels there. Lots of 8K action. Although of course we've got bugger all 8K content to actually enjoy it on, certainly here in the UK. So um, are you tempted? It'd be great to hear from you. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do pop subscribe, ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you. Thank you.